natural gas and liquid fuels burned in all kinds of internal combustion engines are chemical compounds of hydrogen and carbon, coming mostly from underground reserves. But oceans are also huge reservoirs of hydrogen and increasingly carbon dioxide, or CO2. Dissolved in seawater from the air, it makes the water more acidic. Extracting those chemicals from the ocean and converting them into a form of liquid fuel was made possible by some recent technological advances, says U.S. Navy researcher Dr. Heather Willauer. We've been actually able to show that we can recombine CO2 and hydrogen in the laboratory on a lab scale, laboratory scale, into a liquid type fuel. The process requires a lot of electrical energy, which, to be economical, has to come from a cheap source, such as a nuclear power plant. Obviously, the most efficient place to do it would be aboard a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. Willauer says these ships may someday manufacture their own jet fuel. Well, it is a game changer potentially for the, for the Navy or commercial entities because you can make fuel potentially where and when you need it. The new fuel was successfully tested on a model airplane with a two-stroke engine. For now, making it requires twice as much power than the fuel can produce, but researchers hope to lower that ratio. Willauer says the new process will not increase the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, which contributes to global warming. Once we've pulled it out of seawater, the ocean is uh, ready to pull it back in from the atmosphere because it's in constant equilibrium. So what we hope is it's a, it's a carbon neutral footprint. Scientists hope a small scale industrial plant may start converting seawater into fuel within the next 15 years. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.